Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. So I'm sorry I missed you last week. June 20th was a holiday for my wife and me and we took a long holiday weekend trip to Columbus and I tried to get a few sh video shots of us traveling because it was a perfect day to travel in the Mustang convertible but anyway they didn't turn out so I didn't so I'm back. So what I'm doing today is something I've seen several of you do. Julie from Affilia Soapery does it a lot. I'm going to be doing a soap with two different layers. The first layer is going to be an in-the-pot swirl. It's going to be white with titanium dioxide and purple, and I'm using um, Mad Micah's Grape Knee High. And I'm going to fragrance that with Bramble Berry's Lavender 4042 Essential Oil. Love this stuff. Then I'll let that set up and firm up and texture it. And then the top is going to be orange and white. And I'm going to use Nurture Soap's Orange Vibrance. And I'm going to kick that up just a little bit with a little splash of Brambleberry's Tangerine Wow. Just a little splash to give the orange a little more kick. And that I'm going to fragrance with. Uh, Orange Cranberry from Crafter's Choice Wholesale Supplies Plus. Love this stuff as well. And I also know that both of these fragrances not only smell good, they behave like a dream and they hold up in your cold process. So let's get started. I'm soaping about 85 degrees, which is a really good temperature for this recipe. And the soaps that are sitting waiting while the first layer sets up will be okay with this temperature in my recipe. So I'm going to start by carefully, slowly pouring the lye solution into the oils. And of course, I'll rinse my lye container out and leave it in the sink. And bring this to a very light basic emulsification. Just barely emulsified. And I'm going to pour this in our containers, and actually, I want the purple and the orange to be the primary color. I want the white to be the accent. So I'm going to pour the two containers pretty full because those will be the colors. The two with the white will be my accents. And I will clean this out as well as possible. I am going to reuse it to do the in the pot swirl. And a little bit of soap residue in there is not going to hurt anything. So, let's set two out of the way because those will be for the top layers. And let's get the one for our bottom layer. And I'm going to do the purple on the bottom with the lavender essential oil. So... And before I get started, I'm going to try something. I don't have a choice. I don't have any titanium dioxide dispersed in oil or water. 
I'm going to try to put the powder right into the soap. I do know that both of these fragrances behave extremely well. They can take a lot of stick blending. And I'm just hoping that that'll work. We're going to find out. And also, when I put the essential oil on top of that, it will help to break that up some. So let's see what we have. I think I will go ahead and stir the purple mica in like I usually do. some of that right on top of that TD. Yeah, I'll see that's mixed it up some already and then I think the stick blender will finish it. And since this container is so full, let me stir it in just a little bit. See how this stick blends. I don't see any specks on the stick blender head. this behaves so well these are too thin for my liking so I'm going to shut this down and I'll be back I'm going to let this sit up just a little bit all right now we're setting up and getting ready to the consistency I like for an in the pot swirl I'm going to have to let this sit for a while. So I'm going to clean this container up off camera so it's ready for our next layer and I'll be back. 
All right, since the lavender essential oil behaves so incredibly well, I'm gonna do smooth layers. I think by the time I get this mixed up and ready to pour, it'll support it, but I'm not going to do a textured layer. So, let's do the same thing with our top colors. Let's get our TD powder in here, and that did seem to work. Now, if I were needing to do minimal stick blending, I'd never try this, but I know that I can do quite a good bit of stick blending with these fragrances. So let's get our orange vibrance into this one. Just a little hint of this tangerine wow to give that a little bit of a kick. So let's see what this looks like. I'm not going to stir that. Let's get our fragrance in, stick blend it. specs on the stick blender head. And our accent. Shoot, I am making a horrific mess this evening. Okay. And yes, now we are set up and it can withstand this.
actually going to leave the top just like it is. So that is what I have. I will squirt this with some rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash. Let it sit five minutes and squirt it again. And I'm going to wrap it up and put it in a nice warm spot for a full gel. And I'll see you tomorrow for the cut. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. All right, we're back to cut our soap. And I got to admit, what I'm seeing so far, I really like. So let's cut right into it and see what we have. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh yeah. And let's see what the individual bars look like. Very nice. And this combination of scents together, two radically different scents, really complement each other, especially since they're not mixed together. I have the orange in the top and the lavender in the bottom. Really nice. So yeah, this is a technique that I will definitely do again with some other colors and scents. And I'll cut this second log off camera since it'll look pretty much the same. And I'll upload a snapshot. But I am super pleased with how these turned out. And I'll definitely be doing this again. And I'll probably texture layers next time. So anyway, everybody, that's what I have today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Bye.